Welcome to my miniature studio. Another day, another chore. Oh no, no, that's not totally true. Not another chore. Another exciting thing to do. So I thought today I would have a sit down day instead of a standing up and wandering around the garage day because that's tiring. And I thought I would start on my chandelier, my Tudor chandelier. And so it's from scratch. So it all starts with a plan, a rough plan. And the first step one was start with an LED light, which is what is going to be powering it. And then I have to make a base. And then I had to have a rough idea of what I wanted it to look like. And so what I've started with is a wooden wheel, which is 85 millimeters in diameter. This was a laser cut one that I bought at a fair. And then I 3D printed one, which is only two millimeters thick and the spokes don't go right to the end edge of the rim so there's a space and just really important because that's where the wiring will go underneath the spokes and these spokes marry up with those ones and so what I'm planning on doing is having a, a candle in each of these corners and the wiring will go from one to the other right round and eventually into the center where it will come up the center or it'll follow a chain I'm not sure I think it'll probably follow a chain so I started with my LEDs which have got the little legs the long one is negative and the short one's positive or the other way around no it must be the other way around I always get them confused so the long one is positive and the short one's negative and I made some little candles and I had to modify them to suit my LEDs and so they have two little holes in them where the LED goes through. So that light will sit on top of the candle, so to speak. And then you bend these ones so that they sit along the flat part of this. And I've got little grooves that I've pressed into them before I bake them so that these little legs will go flat when they get bent. And so I've done eight of those and I've made them out of um, translucent Fimo. So when it bakes up, it looks quite waxy and it looks like candles. And they didn't have to be exact. They burn at all different rates. Um, but they've all got two holes in them for the legs of the LED and the little groove at the bottom for the legs to be bent over into. And I've got all my little LEDs. So... I'm not going to get this finished today. I have to discuss this with the electrician and that's going to probably take all night because I'm a lateral thinker and he's a very practical thinker and we have to kind of explain each to each other their ideas and see what it works out like. And sometimes that can take a while. So I'm thinking I'll probably get on to the finishing off part of it tomorrow. I've already sprayed a chain black. I'm just waiting for that to dry. And then the whole uh, assemble ensemble will be sprayed black so it'll all look black apart from the candles so it should look very authentic so we'll have to see tomorrow